my name is Marina. I am Japanese. I was born and grew up in Japan, and I have currently graduated from Tsukiya University in Tokyo, and now doing an internship at one of the car, a German car company, and going to grad school in London soon. And I have been living in here, DK House, for almost two years, and I really enjoying my life. have two points. First point is like you can connect so many people from around from all over the world. I have moved to here when I finished my exchange in Thailand and the Philippines and I was looking for to connect some new people and I wanted to create more friendships in, in my university life. And in that sense, because DK House is so huge, and then most of the, the students, exchange students, also came to live in here, and we shared a kitchen, so it's really nice and easier to interact with uh, so many different people. And I am so grateful that I took that decision when I came back to Japan. Um, second point is it's really easier to move in because uh, in DK House they provide every plate and the kitchen soaps and toilet papers or uh, wash, dishwashers so you don't have to prepare anything when you move in so you just bring your clothes and important stuff with you and you just directly move in whatever like you wanted to so that was also my uh, priority when I came back to Japan because I basically didn't find any good accommodation when I when I finished my Thailand exchange so that was really uh, easier to move in that was smooth and the manager was so nice too so as a friendship that I created here uh, with so many people it really impactful on my life because Obviously, I can practice more English, and also they really supporting my mentally, and also like doing work out, working out together. So we make it in a healthy lifestyle together. So especially, I have created a really strong bond with one of my English friends, and she helped me so much during my whole university life uh, through essays, and also when I had difficulties to overcome. Uh, my past relationships or like friendships or like uh, lectures with professors and she really helped me out and even she got back to her country after COVID-19 happened but we kept in interactions through the uh, online chatting and then video calling and then she also helped me out to get into the grad school in London. So, and then we are going to meet again in London this September. So this friendship is really impactful and I'm really appreciate it. I would say this DK house has a good balance in terms of uh, to to protecting your privacy and also interacting with many people because obviously the kitchen is only one basically you can have like small kitchens in upstairs but basically the huge one is on the head so when you come down you kind of have to interact with other people but at the same time because you have your own room you do not have any sharing bedroom and so you have your own privacy so that's your choice if you want to stay in your room tonight and then that's okay but also if you want to interact with more people that's also okay you can come down anytime so it's it's depending on you you can decide like how much balance you want right. to take in. Right. Yeah. two points. First point, Shinkoiwa, this location is really amazing because usually you can connect to the Tokyo station that when you usually use when you're traveling and then it's also you have we have straight line to the Narita airport so when you take a flight that's also so easy to commute but at the same time if you take another line you can always go to shopping and there are shopping areas near in our place mm -hmm. so that's like location wise is so amazing and then secondly the Shinkoiwa this place specific place has it's a very cheap area. Like in the restaurants, usually Tokyo is a, li a little bit expensive living cost, but the Shinkoiwa area, I would say you can have quite cheap lunch or even dinner. And 
in a really tiny restaurant in a different country like India or Thai or Korea. So you can enjoy uh, eating food, you go shopping around this area. So that's my recommendation. I would say as a female, you always have to be careful to, to be careful in any countries. But I would say the Japan and especially here, Shinkova, is quite safe. You don't have to worry about too much, even walking in the night, midnight, and then you you do not have anyone to take home with you, but it's also okay. I've never experienced any bad situation uh, for the past two years. And since I've lived in Manila in Philippines like for half a year, and also I've traveled to US and Europe, so I have some kind of comparison to the safetyness for women is I would say really safe to, to live here.